the Draymond KD. Mm -hmm. That was a situation. KD wants the ball late in the ball game. Draymond gets the rebound. Draymond's bringing it up like he's done so many times. Mm -hmm. In that situation, KD normally, the guy would get the ball to KD. He busted up the court. Draymond said, hey, I got it this time. Just get on down the court. I'm going to get you a better shot. Whatever happens, happens. Right. They go to the bench. Neither guy's willing to let that situation go. What are you thinking? Um, it's certain situations you got to know your teammates. Right. And you know you got certain teammates who, in certain situations, you can't calm them down. You got to let them just get it out. Right. And then, you know, I've been in situations where I've had some tense interactions, you know, with my teammates or with Draymond. And I, I may understand, all right, let them get it out. Or no, now is the time for me to respond. Now is the time for me to, you know, come with this approach. So it's all timing and everything. So that was that was a wild situation because you don't see that that often. Right. So now you're just assessing, like, how should we move? Because we had never, Draymond, we've seen Draymond behave in this manner before. We had never seen Kevin Durant get upset publicly at a right. teammate. Right. So we're like, damn, I mean, and then what was, what was, why did it, why did he get to this? I'm okay. I understand that you wanted the ball. He didn't get you the ball, but it's not a big deal. No, no big deal. And for it to get in it, mm -hmm. for it to escalate right. like it did, did anything change? Because everybody said it didn't change, but it felt like from the outside, it felt like a lot changed, Diggy. I don't think, you know, to be honest, I don't think too much changed because we still got back to the finals. Yeah. And then, you know, it took a KD Achilles for us to lose the finals. And Katie's, uh, no, Clay and, and, and Clay tore his uh, ACL. ACL in game six. And, you know, you still. But were they still cool? Were they still playing cards? Were they still laughing and talking and going around? Because something had to, I mean, you know, grown men. Now, you know how we are, Iggy. You know how we, we are. Butt, we butt head like yeah. that. There, we're, yeah. yeah. But I think, I think I've seen, I've seen teammates actually knuckle yeah, up. Yeah, of course. And, and, but they cool afterwards. Yeah. We handle like men, we squash it, we move forward. Right. And I think. Uh, we did everything we were supposed to do that year in terms of making sure that we kept that yeah. thing tight knit, making sure like we didn't have but, too many leaks. But y'all suspended Draymond. It was almost like y'all suspended Draymond to show KD we got your back. We gonna suspend him uh, because we want you to resign. That's what it looked like from the outside. That's what it looked like to me. Well, we just had a conversation. <laughs> when you got, when you got that top tier talent, what you gonna do? I mean, not only is it smart financially for the business, <laughs> but it's smart to get wins. It's smart to try to keep, like. Yeah, you got to do. Hey, what I say, how you, you win a championship? You got to have the best talent. Yeah. <laughs> Who the most talented guy? One of the most talented ever. Yes. Ever. Yes. So, but at the same time, you know, I think there was faults all around. Right. It wasn't just one guy, you know. Did you have a team meeting? Did you guys discuss, did you guys ever discuss that? Yeah, we had discussions internally because we all tight with each other. Like, right. You know, we 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 boys, we family, right. we family. End of the day, right. like that is bigger than basketball. Right. We family. Right. So let's just handle it like family. So you know, they handled their business, and then we kind of you know did what we had to do. Right. So you know, I think that's what was beautiful coming out of that is that we didn't really have no leaks. You know, uh, we had good days, we had bad days. We talked through it, and you know, everybody's tight to this day, but. It was a lot coming from that, you know. Uh, it, it was. It, I think it was tough for some guys too, when you don't, you still hear noise after you've accomplished things. Right. You know, we keep winning and we keep accomplishing things, but we just keep getting hit. We keep getting attacked. Right. Uh, it's, oh, we can't solidify that. Y'all messed up the league. This ain't fair. You know, you got other guys on other teams. You know, my best friend, Evan Turner, was like, "Yo, man, this is not cool, fam. This ain't fair." We don't have a chance. And so it's just giving, it's giving Skip an opportunity. Everybody just still. So it's just like. This is this is really beautiful for the game of basketball because like, right. we still playing team basketball. We right. still number one in the league in assists. We still top five in defense. We playing basketball the right, right way. So right. it's not like we just cheating. We really executing at a very high level. Right. And we you, you, human nature. You, you you we hear it. You said it. You know we hear it. We watch everything, and whether we like it or not, things affect us, and, and it can determine how we react to the noise. So one guy might react this way, another guy might not react that way, right. and. You know, one guy might be saying, you know, one foot in, one foot out because he's tired of another noise. Another guy might be saying, I see this guy on the way out. You know, not that that happened, but you just start assuming. And right. what they say assume is you're making an ass out of you and me. Right. And then now you got fictional beef and you don't know where it came from. It just slowly crept in. And right. that's one thing we were good at with keeping that noise out. And I think it just the, the noise kind of crept in and, and just threw us off a little bit. You know what to do. 
Hit the subscribe button and become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we do something before two something.